It is my privilege to welcome you on behalf of the Faculty of Theology of Stellenbosch University to this year's Open Day. My journey with theology began more than 30 years ago when I was one of the first women to study theology here at Stellenbosch University. Then this faculty looked very different. Same building, same big trees within the same luscious garden, but with an all-white male Dutch Reformed Church faculty and student with only here and there a female or a black student. Today, the Faculty of Theology is a vibrant community made up of students and colleagues from all denominations. Our official partners, the Dutch Reformed Church, Urxa, Presbyterian, Anglican, the Volkskerk in Africa, Lutheran, but also members of many other faith communities who teach and study in this very old building with its rich history. What's more, our faculty, staff and students represent all the different population groups in our beautiful country, with students coming to us from the rest of Africa as well as from abroad. And there are many female lecturers and students who flourish in this space. We are proud of our diversity, and as a lecturer, I can tell you that it's exhilarating to see the rich engagement in our classes, where students and lecturers alike truly learn from one another, in many instances, forging lifelong friendships. We are a small faculty, but this is also what makes us unique on the campus. You will not merely be a number, but an individ individual who over the course of your studies, if you show up for class, and please do, I cannot emphasize enough that there's a direct correlation between class attendance and your academic performance, will become a person to your lecturers and fellow students. They will get to know you, your hopes, dreams and desires, and perhaps also your fears and vulnerabilities. But, but what really makes us unique um, is what we do more at this Faculty of Theology than merely impart knowledge to you. Your BTH and MDiv degrees, of which colleagues Ashwin Thyssen and Anita Kluter will speak about in greater detail, will open up doors for you. I will say a bit more about the skills you will learn by means of what is known as the university's graduate attributes, which are what we hope all our graduates will acquire during your time with us. First and foremost, embracing critical thinking. We teach you to think. You will also teach one another to think deeper. And you will at times also challenge us as lecturers to continue to think in new ways. We will be broaching some difficult topics in the classroom, asking some questions about the nature and role of the Bible, the church, theology, ethics, mission. We hopefully will impart to you the importance of wrestling with texts, topics and one another so as to learn how to better address what our former rector, Russell Bortman, has described as those wicked problems that require a multidisciplinary, multidimensional approach. By embracing critical thinking, we hope that you will become problem solvers, that you will learn to challenge harmful traditions and practices and work together to think outside the box and find creative, life-giving solutions. Second, becoming an engaged citizen. Throughout the years, the theological faculty has distinguished itself as being on the forefront of conversations on justice and reconciliation. Whether it be courageous conversations concerning issues of land, poverty, inequality, transformation, restitution, redress, gender-based violence and hate crimes, the faculty cons consistently has held um, up the importance of human dignity as protected in the South Africa Bill of L Rights. Everyone has inherent dignity and the right to have their dignity respected and protected. In terms of gender justice, you will see many of the faculty, staff and students wearing black on Thursdays as part of the Thursdays in Black movement that is concerned with fighting gender-based violence. Third, turning into dynamic professionals. We hope and trust that you will exit this faculty as dynamic professionals, ready to preach, to teach, to comfort the bereaved, to organize, to fulfill leadership roles, to develop, to empower wherever you find yourselves, to show up on time, to be a person upon whom individuals and the community can depend. And all of this starts with assessments. My philosophy professor used to say that the only thing we can teach first years, and I would add second, third, fourth and final year students, is the importance of deadlines. 
Finally, being a well-rounded individual. It is important to walk away from this faculty and unit university with more than a degree or degrees. The world is at your feet. We hope to open windows and doors to other worlds, worlds music, book, books, films, and art. You will see in the classes I teach that I always draw on these as we also think about the intersection of Bible and popular culture, or Bible and art. So read, engage, watch movies, go to art galleries, and yes, also enjoy the outdoors, go for walks in our lovely mountains, and enjoy all that Stellenbosch has to offer to its students. Well, not too much, moderation is key. I want to conclude by offering you a sneak peek at some of the interesting topics, themes and conversations that await you. As you all know, COVID-19 has challenged all of us in unprecedented ways and to some extent still does and will continue to challenge us in years to come. In terms of the various subdisciplines of theology, here are some of the questions you will consider. Bible. In Old and New Testament, we will ask questions such as, why do we suffer like this? What is the link between God and suffering? How do different parts of the Bible speak about disasters such as this one? Systematic theology. We are not the first people to ask these questions. How did past theologians speak about God in times of extreme suffering? For instance, Luther during the Black Plague or Calvin to the refugees and the sick. How do black and feminist theologians help us to see how COVID has affected the most vulnerable constituencies in our communities? Church history. What has been and is the role of the church throughout the ages? How have churches all around the world acted for better or worse in times of crisis? Mission. How does the church become the hands and feet of God in the world? How do we inspire individuals and communities to become agents of change in a world that's even more broken than before COVID? And practical theology. How do we preach in a time of COVID? How do we care, minister to those who are sick and dying and to, to those who stay behind? How do we rebuild our communities ravaged by COVID? What role does the pastor community leaders play in congregations that have resorted to online ministry? What about the youth and children affected by COVID and its aftermath? How do we connect people who have been disconnected for so long as social distancing leads to social isolation? This is an exciting time to be a student and lecturer in the theological faculty at Stellenbosch University. We hope your time with us will be meaningful and transformative. Enjoy, learn, grow. We look forward to joining with you. Finally, if you don't know anything, please ask us. Our contact information is on the website. Enjoy the summer and we look forward to welcoming you back when classes start in middle February. Thank you.